Hi, today I'll be going over the Action Wizard tool with you all, which is designed to automate a series of routine tasks to be applied to a PDF. First, I'm going to open the file I want to work on, which will be this one. Let's say I have to go through a lot of documents that contain sensitive information, and I want to add a confidential watermark to them. So instead of having to do this manually for all of my documents, in PDF Studio 2022, I can easily set up an action to do this for me. So first, what I'm going to do is go to the File tab, go down to Action Wizard, and create new action. So if we go down under Pages, you'll see Watermark. So I'm going to select it and press Add. Under Watermark, you will find a hyperlink and it says specify settings. I'm going to click it. And here I can make any adjustments I need. And what I want to do is just change the word watermark to confidential. I'm going to press OK. And I've added my watermark. And like I said before, this document has a lot of sensitive information in it. So I want to set up some document security and set up a permissions password where no one can be allowed to make any changes or manipulate the document or print it as well. So what I'm going to do is go into document, select document security, and press add. Once again there's the specify settings hyperlink. I'm going to select it and I'm going to deselect all the permissions. So I don't want the receiver to have any permissions because it's a lot of sensitive information on it and I don't want this document to be manipulated in any way or printed as well. So now, once I've deselected all the permissions, I can set up a password. And I'm gonna press okay here. So now that that's done, I'm gonna save my action and it's gonna prompt me to name it. So I'm just going to name it watermark and security, and press save. Almost forgot, also want to automate it where the document is automatically saved to my preferred folder. So what I'm going to do is actually edit the action. So in order to do that, I'm going to select manage action. I'm going to make sure it's selected here, and then I'm going to press edit. And I'm going to go down to save, and select save as and press add. Once again, we have that specify settings hyperlink. I'm going to select it. And first is going to give me some file naming options. So I can either keep the original file names or I can add to the original file names. I'm going to select add to original file names. And I'm just going to add confidential after the original file name. And if you keep going down, you'll see the default directory. This is where you can select that folder you want the documents to be saved to. I'm going to select confidential documents and press choose and press OK. So now I've made that addition to my action. I'm going to save it now and close. So now I feel pretty confident in my action. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. So I'm going to make sure run action is selected and I'm gonna press the action I just created. So it automatically brings me back to that document I was working on. And you can go here to start the action. Uh, but you also keep in mind if you want to add more files to this process, you can easily open a folder and add more files to it. I'm only doing one for now. So let's go ahead and start that action. And so now you can see that prompt for the create watermark and you can see the confidential watermark is already on the document, so I'm going to press apply. It's going to quickly move on to my document security dialog. And as I said, I deselected all the permissions and I already have that preset permissions password on it. So I'm going to press OK. And then it's going to move on to that folder I want to save this document to. And it's in my confidential documents folder. And it added confidential at the end of that file name like I want it. So now I'm going to press save. So there you have it. The action was performed on my document and I can easily continue on doing this process. So that's a simple run through of our new action wizard tool. There are many more actions you can utilize to automate your document process. Download PS Studio 2022 now to explore.
Thank you for watching.